Hey guys and welcome to Top 10 One on One. So today we're going to be looking at some free amazing stuff, including this Moss Generator by Nino DeFock. He's a, an amazing Blender content creator. And uh, yeah, you can check out his channel. I'll be leaving all links in the description. But uh, yeah, let's look at uh, this free Moss Generator. It looks really epic. So if you go to the link provided in the description, you will, you will find the download on Gumroad and now you can download it. This is the project file you get. Uh, you can look at uh, the Moss here. He has a good uh, tutorial explaining how to use it. I just wanted to... I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you missed it but uh, it's a really really powerful uh, stuff a geometry node setup so if you want to use it on your own project I just uh, copy the asset I'm just going to go to the original project here and just copy ctrl C and copy the project I uh, just make sure that uh, you turn off the mount resolution modifier here just switch it off a bit if you want to use it on another asset because it's a heavy uh, setup and uh, if you apply it on a mesh that is that has a lot of dense polygon that is also dense it might trees or crash blender so i'm going to open up a new blend file here and create a quick setup here so add a plane go to my asset library search for maybe a branch like this yes add that so we have a branch if i decided to copy this modifier or this mesh which will come with the modifier if I paste it in this project. The way you would transfer this no, these nodes to this is just Control L and uh, copy modifiers. So that will link all these modifiers onto the branch. But uh, the reason why I'm, I'm not doing that right away is because of this subdivision uh, surface. If I copy the modifier over to this, it would really make this mesh really dense. And uh, if your computer can't handle dense meshes, it probably will crash. So just remove it for a bit. And uh, maybe you can also reduce the most density uh, to something like a hundred. So that is easier to work with. And then, then you can copy, controlling, copy modifiers, Control L copy modifiers to copy over the modifiers and you can see I've removed the subdivision surfaces and uh, re reduced the moss and uh, you can still see that uh, the blender is struggling uh, to copy over the modifiers because uh, it's a really dense mesh uh, so it's a really heavy modifier so I'm going to get rid of this since I've already transferred uh, that so I'm just going to scale up the moss uh, now you can see what we have here let me add some quick lighting here maybe some back lighting and uh, you can see what we have. So we're also seeing some new demos for Wanda Dynamics, an application that does object tracking, motion tracking, and uh, character replacement in footage all in one single application. So I've already done a video about Wanda Dynamics if you want to check it out. And I was skeptical at first because all I saw was demos uh, from from their website. I wasn't sure if it would be as good as the demos, but it seems that like, it seems that it's even much better because it also works underwater. Uh, this is another content creator and you can see he has this demo of him underwater swimming and uh, it does the motion tracking really well. And it also does uh, replacement around the environment. So it's basically a VFX tool that does motion tracking, object tracking, character tracking, and uh, matte painting or replacing backgrounds with a content aware tools to make a seamless transition between uh, replacing the actual footage with uh, an animated character we've seen and you can see it just works perfect. Another tool that uh, you might find interesting is that this dynamic paint melt effect by by Castasian Caramel uh, is also free to download and uh, you can check it out if you want to. If you're into geometry nodes and shaders, uh, this is an amazing demo that uh, you can explore and uh, t look at how the nodes were set up. So I think that's it for today. Uh, I just wanted to show off some of these new amazing stuff out there uh, that uh, you might find uh, useful. So yeah, thank you. See you in the next video.